Today we're going to teach you how to make the ceremony pubo, which you can attach to your chairs or tables. We are going to, re to need satin ribbon, tool, wire, wire cutters, pliers, and floral tape. We're going to begin by taking the satin ribbon and cutting the ribbon down the middle and separating it. We will need a bit of a thinner ribbon in the center of the bow that we will then build on as we create the bow. We are going to take the ribbon and bend it back. Use your thumb and three fingers to support the ribbon. Pinch the ribbon in the center and create the second loop. Twist the, twist the loop in the back and pull it forward. The twisting will simply allow you to have a fuller range of motion and position the loop in different directions. The loop needs to be slightly longer than your first loop. Continue remembering to twist it and ensuring that every loop that you make is slightly longer. This is important to create fullness and an effect of layering as you make your bow. Grip the bow tightly between your fingers and do not release. The next step is to use tool. This is to create your second layer and add additional fullness. The same idea is used here as well to create the loops and to twist in the middle. Adjust so that the loops face in different directions and are longer each time. Finally, we will use the satin bow once again, this time using it at full thickness. We will create the final third layer, again creating loops by twisting them in the center and bringing them forward and adjusting the facing direction, ensuring once again that each loop is a little bit longer than the previous to create the desired layering effect. This can be a bit difficult and will require practice, so be patient. Remember to twist the loops. Step is the streamer. This portion is entirely up to you, and the length and width of the streamers can be adjusted according to your design. It is important to mention that the color of the ribbon is also adjustable to your setting, so don't feel obligated to use white. Use a 20 gauge wire to secure your bow, and your streamers. Secure it tightly behind the bow and use pliers to ensure that it is tightly and safely secured. You may choose to use solely the bow for your decoration or you can make the bow more elaborate by adding desirable flowers, 
For this tutorial, we will use roses. But once again, you may choose to get creative and use the flowers that you wish. Again, remember that color scheme and flower types as well as filler are adjustable to your design. Start by taking a rose and putting it against filler. Make sure you achieve a step-like effect where one rose is perhaps slightly above the others. This ensures that every flower is equally visible. Add corresponding filler to create a backdrop for your flowers and to support them. Secure tightly with floral tape. And cut away any undesired stems. In order to ensure lasting life of your decoration, use water tubes on the flowers that you know are not long lasting and require constant water. This might not apply to certain greenery, which should be fine without water. Any flowers prone to wilting should have a flower tube attached to it. Spread the flowers out and make sure that every flower is visible and facing forward and is not hidden behind any greenery. If this happens to be the case, remove any excess greenery. You will now attach the cluster to your bow. And this is why you must leave the wire long separate the wire and attach it face it forward. Tightly secure the wire around the cluster and twist with pliers to ensure that it is safely secured to your bow. You may wish to leave the wire for when you will attach the bow and cluster to your tables or chairs. use a vase to demonstrate attachment since we do not have a chair. There's a variety of ways you may attach your bow. You may use tape, elastics, or additional wire. This all depends on the style and structure of your tables or chairs. Wrap the elastic around the stem and secure around your piece of furniture. This is your finished product. Remember that you will always be eligible to reuse this product in different settings. For example, if it's your wedding, you might have it on the pews of your chairs, but then during reception, you can use it to decorate the cake table, the head table, or any other area you please.